Hi guys, welcome to one more tutorial. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how I create my own color palette using Adobe Illustrator. First, I will open a rectangle and choose the color. Since it's October now, I will be creating an autumn color palette and my main color will be orange. All right, I have the main color. I will copy it with Ctrl plus C and paste it with Ctrl plus F. Then I will move the copy on the left. I will make the copy red and a bit darker so it can be like a shadow color of the main color. Once I am done, I will select the blend tool, click twice on it and select specific steps. Now I want only one color between these two colors. So I will set the specific steps to 1. Ok, now with the blend tool selected, click on the darker tone and on the main color. To explain you better, I would like to call this color the father, the mother and the baby color. Now I think I can do a lot better with the mother color. I will just select the direct selection tool and click on the mother color and change it. I will go with red, with a little pink on it and go with the darker tone. Ok, this looks a lot better, so I will leave it like that. Now I got the shadow tone and all I need is the high glass tone. I will create one more rectangle, I will just hit Ctrl plus F since my last copy was a rectangle. Move this copy on the right. I will be changing this copy to a brighter yellow. I think this will be perfect for my palette. Now the fun part, let's see how the baby will look like. I will just grab the blend tool. Click on the father color and click on the mother color. This looks good. Now if we change the father color, the two babies will change. But if we change the mother color, only the baby next to the mother will change. But I don't like any changes, so I will leave it like this. So if you like to save the swatches in a proper way, just select the color panel, go to object and hit expand rapidus, again go to object and hit expand. Once the effect is expanded and with the color selected, I will just open the swatches and hit this folder icon. You can name your color palette as you like, I will name it autumn. And now I have the new swatches in the swatches panel. Alright, so let's test these colors. I will grab my old design and switch with the new colors. I will create a copy from the old design so we can have two designs side by side and compare them. Now I will double click on one of the copies, select the magic one. I will also select the magic one panel so I can set the tolerance to zero. Alright, so I'm now selecting the color I want to change. I will start with the dark color and finish with the lighter colors. And there we have it. It's not like the old design is bad, but uh, this new palette gave it more contrast or more vibrant colors. And that's it guys. Hope you found this video useful and if you did hit that like button and if you want to see more tutorials like this one, subscribe to my channel. Wish you happy design. Cheers.